WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we got a mixed bag out here with the Dow off 137, the S&P down 2, and the NASDAQ 100 up 77. Russell's off 29, semis are up 31, trannies are down 241. There's a lot to look at. Gold's off two bucks, silver down 22 cents. Let's go ahead and uh, begin looking at our indice charts out here. Give me a moment to just change over to that set of screens. We've got eight different charts that we can look at. The first one is going to be the Dow Jones Industrial. So as we take a look at its chart, I'll just expand this out. And there really is no topping pattern or signal that I've got here in uh, play. I don't have a completed A to B equals CD pattern. I got nothing. Doesn't mean that it didn't top or can't top. But what's important about this chart, as long as price remains below this little green line, the oscillator and change line, this is saying over time price may be targeting its breakout level. Its breakout level is 33,869.83. You can see that price has tagged that level once. That was back in the uh, July time frame. So it may be targeting that level again, 33,869.83. The S&P 500 closed below its breakout level yesterday at 4408.86. Today has been a test and rejection of that. And that would then signal to me, uh, because price did not get back inside that range, that uh, the break from yesterday is real. Now, price could rally into the close and close above 4408.86. That would then offer the opposite message and say yesterday's move was a false breakdown. So watch 4408.86. Inside the NASDAQ 100, it has a road momentum indicator top, but price has really just been trading sideways, um, even as I pull this back here. Just a sideways move. So uh, now to the downside, its level of breakout support is 13.967. Am I saying that's where price is headed to? No, nah, because we'd have to go take a look at the NQ, and there'd be levels that would have to be broken, broken there. The Russell just headed back to where we have prior lows, so that hasn't broken anything out. And this is the odd one, not that it's odd, but if you were to ask me a question and you were to say, Steve-O, of these eight indices out here, which one would you take a long trade in? My answer right now would have to be the semiconductor index. Today is going to be bar number eight of a TD9 count, and price is back inside its TD9 breakout, break, a breakout level 32.16.98. Very interesting markets out here. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. I'll see you.